bro, I just created something absolutely disgusting. guys so um uh, more specifically Zach this is for you I got some spice that I created and this is um going to be a Luna Light Danger Thunder Dragon this deck is absolutely incredible it's so resilient um unlike your regular Danger Thunder Dragon you're playing Luna Light so with as a thought you're you don't have to worry about Nibiru at all uh the deck is 50 cards so it's a little bit big um, this is 16 cards right now. Um, I think I'm going to take out the Garas because I feel like um, the problem is with your as a thought. If you don't have a danger in your hand, you're going to have a very hard time making Curious, which is a very important card that you want to access to uh, access your card drawing combo because you're going to send like Carbon End into the graveyard. And really, this Dugaris was just in case you milled like a Thunder Dragon Roar or something like that to the graveyard. And um, basically, it may have to access it, but some, a lot of the times you don't even need it. Sometimes all you need is just OG Thunder Dragon to summon from your hand with like Suryuja and things like that. So, um, this is for Zach. We're just going to go ahead. I'm just going to make you a believer out of Luna Light Danger Thunder. Uh, I'll make you a believer yet. So, um, one of these hands I ended up uh, making. Um, uh, we made uh, Appaloosa for four. With uh, Abyss Dweller, Colossus, and 38, we ripped two cards out of our opponent's hand. This is all without uh, even going into Guard Dragons at all. Because our hands, you know, are just that good. Luna Lights uh, just give you so much gas. And they go through the deck so hard that it's just... It, like, the rest of the cards really don't even matter. As long as you access, like, a Levianir... You know, as long as you access Levianir or like uh, a Melody, you know, I, I oh, hard drew Levianir that um, like my second test hand and how things turned out. Like with what I milled with Curious, I ended up um, like with it, everything that was going on, I had OG Thunder Dragon in hand and all that. I already uh, got that effect off. And so I just decided to send Diabolos to the graveyard. I sent Diabolos. Uh, because I already had Levy near in hand, and I milled, um, let's see, I think I milled, or I drew Thunder Dragon War with, I think, um, Emerald Bird, and like I milled a Shrudo with Curious, and so it's like I didn't even need to go into Guard Dragon, so we still managed to rip two cards out of our opponent's hand, make Appaloosa for, for four, uh, still sit on Abyss Dweller at 38. So, you know, that's still a good game, and for a lot of you who that's still asking, what about Super Poly? Well, the boards that we put up are actually um, immune to Super Poly because the only dark we play is on the field is Colossus, and it's our only fusion. So let's go ahead and open up this hand and see what we get. Okay, so we got a Hoji Thunder Dragon. Okay, we opened Brotar. That's not like the best, but we opened Zephyro, so we don't even need to access Force Tricks at this point. We have Kaleido Chick, and we have Foolish Goods. Like, this is really strong. Well, okay. It, it's strong, it's Luna Light combo, but we still need to get access to everything else. So we're gonna, we're gonna slowly play this out. We're gonna send uh, Perfume to the graveyard. We're gonna banish it. And we're gonna toss, um... I think we'll toss Zephyros because there's almost no other way to get it out of our hand. I mean, yeah, there's like Serenade Dance and stuff, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, we're going to add our Tiger, so now we have our Chick-Tiger combo. Let's go ahead and uh, discard our Thunder Dragon and get those out of our hand. So this is that situation to where Barricade War Blocker is actually going to come in. Actually, it really doesn't need to come in because we ha already had... Uh, we hard drew the Zephyros, so it's fine. But if we didn't hard draw Zephyros, we would need to make Barricade War Blocker so we can have the extra type we need because all you're gonna have normally was like fiend and beast warriors with like no arrows to summon other things so here we go let's go ahead and uh, summon our Kaleido chip and we're gonna send uh, we're just gonna 
do our typical thing. We're just gonna send uh, Yellow Martin. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, ooh, shoot, my bad. There you go. And now we're gonna activate Tiger and just use Tiger's spec. And we're gonna summon Yellow Martin. And we're just gonna overlay for Niarla. And we're gonna swap materials. Um, we're not gonna target Zephyros the Elite, just in case. We'll, we can just attach OD Thunder Dragon, that's fine. Uh, use Yellow Martin's effect. And add us our Serenade Dance. There we go. All right, now we can drop Azathoth to the board. So now, at this point, we can essentially play for free unless our opponent is playing infinite impermanence. Uh, that could be an issue. Uh, we'll use Yellow Martin's effect, and we'll go ahead and return. And special our Yellow Martin, and we're going to activate our Tiger and summon our Kaleido Chick, sending our Emerald Bird to the graveyard. All right. Now we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use Zephyros. Now we generally wait, but uh, we need to get the Serenade Dance over our hand. So we're gonna go ahead and bounce Tiger back to our hand once again, uh, summoning the Zephyros. We'll take 400 and all that, and we'll go ahead and scale the Tiger. And what we're gonna do is, I are we gonna go for the draw first, or are we gonna go for the mill? I think we want to go for the mill. Honestly, um, we want to go for the mill first. What are the draw? I think the draw makes us uh, determine what we want to mill. Okay, so we may end up milling something we don't want to, so... Uh, but it makes it easier, honestly, to mill the things we don't want to if our deck's a little thinner. So, we'll just go ahead and make Curious now. We'll go ahead and, uh... Lick off that yellow Martin... Yeah. That's fine. And we'll go ahead and make our Curious, and we're going to send our Carbonet into the graveyard straight away. So this accesses us our Guard Dragon combo immediately, unless we just mill our one copy of, um, uh, what's it called, of um, our uh, Flamble Guard. And even if we do that, I think it's okay. I think that was also another reason we played Degaris, but honestly, I feel like this is still fine. Um, so let's go ahead and mill three. Hey look, we milled the Shrudo, so now we don't even need to access Dragon Ravine. Although we still will because it's a free card. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use Tiger's Effect. And we're going to summon our Emerald Bird. Okay. Uh, now we're going to use Emerald Bird. And discard our Serenade Dance. Because you have to specifically discard Luna Light. And we're going to draw a card. Hey, we drew a Wide Reverse. That's pretty good. I don't think we really need it. But um, it's fine nonetheless. So... Um, I think of all the cards we're going to discard, we, I think we're going to discard Bro Tour. Like, I can't think of really any other dragon I can summon. Uh, I could Pit Stee and then LP and summon Diabolos. Ooh, that's actually really good. Yes. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to use Serenade Dance as effect. We're going to discard our Bro Tour. And we are going to search. Or we're going to special summon, my bad. We're going to summon out a, another Kaleido Chick just because we can and get our deck thinner. We're going to use Kaleido Chick's effect. And we're just going to send another copy of Kaleido Chick to the graveyard. I really hoped we would have, like, milled, let's say, a, um, like, another Luna Light perfume or something so I can search another Tiger and extend even further. But that at that point, it's just getting greedy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to banish our Carbonetton. Uh, let's see, we still have Grave Effects. And we're going to summon out our, our main culprit here, our Flamble Guard. Okay. Now we're going to summon our Iv, the World Child Miko. And we're going to use uh, Miko's effect and we're going to add We're going to add a yeah, World Legacy Guard Dragon. Uh, we want to keep our level 4s on the board because we still we want to make a Bisweller. But we have two level 4s access right here as well in the form of our uh, Baby Chaos Dragons. So that is also fine. I mean, I could just revive Grotor now and then just use his effect, but I don't think that we, we really need to. Okay, so we're going to make our Suryu just Skulldren. 
Uh, we're gonna drop this. Uh, I, I really want to keep these level fours on the board. So that's. Uh, let's see. We have OG Thunder Dragon in the graveyard. We still need to access other Thunder cards too. That's uh, something also to keep note of. So we're gonna link off one, two. Uh, like we have Will Chalice Guard Dragon in the graveyard. Well, actually, no. We will produce Will Chalice Guard Dragon in just a second. So we're gonna make our Sir Yuja. We only play one. That's all we need, really. Um, Sir Yuja is gonna be one. And Miko is gonna be two, so we don't draw the Guard Dragon. Hopefully, if we draw into a Melody, then that's just absolutely fantastic. That that will be absolutely insane if we really do draw into a Melody. But if we don't, then that's still fine. We still get access to Diabolos. Uh, we don't play Thunder Dragon Duo either, so if we get access to like Dark, like I feel like I should play Duo, but I'm already playing 50 cards, which is the problem. Uh, draw one, two. Oh yeah, we still need to search this too, actually. So let's go ahead and put this back. Totally forgot about that search. All right. At least Mothman was another old four we could have used. So one, two, three, four. Oh, we got melodies. Hold on, let me see. Did we use Foolish Goods? Yes, we did. All right. So Foolish Goods is automatically going back. Uh, this is going back. We have a Thunder Dragon Dark. Uh, we don't really need the perfume at this point. It's it's redundant. It's not very, it's not needed. Okay, so what are we gonna dis? Uh, hmm. This is a benefit, I suppose, of having multiple Thunder Dragons in your hand. At least one is automatically discarded. Uh, let's go ahead and melody, and we're gonna add our Levianir. And our Diabolos. I was going to summon it with LP. Um, however, things changed. Hold on. We can just add two copies of Levianir then. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to resolve LP. Otherwise, so we'll go ahead and grab these two. Okay. That's good. We're good. Alright, cool. Alright. So now we're going to go and get start. Oh, this is still in the deck. My bad. All right, now let's go and get started. All right, let's do this. Um, do I want to summon now? No, I don't. We're not going to use the user effect quite yet. We're going to go pissy first, and we're this melody is in the graveyard. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to go pissy effect, and we're going to summon out our Omni Dragon. Real poor. And what are we gonna discard? I think we can discard a Levy near. I think we'll be okay. Like the game is over at this point, so it's fine. So we'll discard Levy near. And oh, we can add a Dark Dragon. Like, do we? I don't even think we need to. We can just actually perfect. We'll just target Kaleido Chick and just add a Tiger. Like that solves. I mean, that makes us. It gives us even more extenders to work with. You know, come to think about it. So look at that, you don't even need to target dragons. LP effect. Uh, we're gonna summon Diabolos. I don't know if we want to use the effect now. Uh, I know we want to make Romulus, um, but I don't want to... Well, we didn't summon Diabolos yet either, uh, with like with its own effect, so I think it's fine. So we'll use uh, Diabolos' effect. Uh, we'll go ahead and tribute off an LP. And we'll rip like one card from our opponent's hand. That's fine. And we'll just link these two. And we'll make a Romulus over here. We're gonna make Appaloosa on the other side. We're gonna try and make it for four. But uh, for the time being, what we're gonna end up doing is um, uh, trying to establish everything else. So we're gonna use Soyuja's effect. We're gonna summon our uh, Thunder Dragon Dark. Okay. Uh, we can make Kala we can make Abyss Dweller now, actually, honestly. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and make our Abyss Dweller. Oh, wait. First off, we need to search uh, with our Romulus. Not We don't play Tempest, so it doesn't matter uh, what we got going on. So we're going to make Dweller, and we're going to tribute our uh, Thunder Dragon Dark and make Colossus, since we 
discarded OG Thunder Dragon earlier. Uh, we'll use the effect of Diabolos now. Uh, even though I don't want to. Yeah, we, we might have to just make Appaloosa for three. That That's still fine. That, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop our uh, Black Dragon by banishing a light. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the Diabolos right away, but I knew I needed to. Like, yeah, I needed to. Otherwise, I would uh, basically forfeit that right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go... Oh, nope, nope. Link these three into an Appaloosa for three instead of four. I wanted to do it for four, but, you know, you can't have it all, right? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop our uh, Chaos Dragon Levy near. And, oh yeah, Thunder Dragon. Jesus, man. Why am I not adding? Um, oh my god, I'm so sleepy. There you go. Add our Hawk. Like, we didn't even need to do all this. We didn't. We don't need to add Ravine. We don't need to add Hawk. But it's just to show you. Just It's just free cards. Like, you're going to end up discarding a lot of cards. So you need to add. Like, purely because Luna Light Engine, you, you're going to discard cards. Like, it, it's, 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 yeah. So, with Zephyros is not needed anymore, let's go ahead and banish uh, this, no way of getting it back. And let's just banish uh, an LB. So now we just rip two cards around on a 10. That's fine, all right. So we're gonna overlay, and we're gonna make our 38. All right, now uh, we can scale our Lunalite target and go ahead and summon out a Lunalite doesn't even matter we milled the shrewdo with curious but if we didn't we at this point we can just send it with ravine so we're gonna pay half target the Clido chick and um perform our synchro summon all right and this is game folks this is how we don't lose to uh super poly like the only way this kind of loses to super poly is if they're playing mud dragon and they would have to use off these two they still don't have a grave they still can't search and they still have uh to deal with this. So unless they're playing Mud Dragon in their extra deck, they're not breaking this. So uh, that's why this board is also immune to Super Poly. Um, you know, this is fantastic. This is a fantastic board. Uh, not only that, you rip two cards out of your opponent's hand and you don't need follow-up plays. Like, it, the game's over. The game is is definitely over. You know, it's, it's GG. Um, Lunar Lights just make this like over the top because again it digs through your deck, it accesses Curious for you, it gets you into Guard Dragon combo by itself. You know, so to where you don't even need um, the other cards. Like you, you saw I didn't resolve a single danger. I didn't get into a single danger at all. Didn't even need it. So honestly I feel like I can play this deck without dangers at all. I could probably take the dangers out and have this deck closer to 40 cards and it would probably still be the same honestly but dangers are just so good with uh the luna lights because they get off your emerald burn your yellow martin uh because their effects and not costs when they get sent to the graveyard um what do you guys think about this i love this again it this this particular build just plays through new beer and like noise business because again luna light cards um you know hand traps in general <clears throat> Are turned off because as a thoughts card it lets you play for free and you just go to the rest of this again no graveyard no searches like three negates four negates five negates what what are you doing so uh yeah zach build lunar light danger thunder dragon i built something very very nasty this is a very nasty deck i just came up with i will thank you for that phone conversation we had yesterday because i just because of that i just came up with this idea you were saying how uh, you, so what we were talking about was, you know, just he wants to play Danger Thunder Dragon, but the problem is like the Biru and how to play through hand traps. You know, having combo is easy, but playing through hand traps is very difficult because you know there's no close wyvern. And I'm just thinking, you know what solves all that? What solves the Biru hand traps? All that just Luna Lights. It was like, bro, you're not like, you know that that sounds really really janky. There's no way that's gonna work. And I'm like, and I told him, you know what? I'll make this work. I promise you I will make this work. So I go to work and all that. I come back 
and wake up in the morning, build this, and do a couple test hands of like, wow, this deck is really, really nasty. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Reading them and weeps. Uh, Zach, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. This is Jay Money, and I am signing out. Oh, 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 oh.